is like the iconic pushing the car scene. Florence the and the Machine, Stand by Me, but Pocket Edition. So we are, like I've just said, starting from the beginning of the game. So we're going to start in Hammerhead. It's going to show you how the controls work, how different it's going to play. But it's still got like, you know, the, the map and quests and the ability to equip items that you'd expect from a bit of a RPG. I must say, I'm intrigued to see how everything works in this, like oh, combat and... Still got voice acting. <sighs> Is it voice acting taken from the original? Yeah. I can kind of hear it. We're, the speakers are behind us, so it's very weird for us on the stage. The, that opening in the actual full game is one of my favorite video game openings. It's so beautiful and so simple. It's up there with like start of ME2 for me. I do love the whole kind of like sort of road trip out in the middle of nowhere vibe that it has. Just. Oh, even Cindy's all adorable. <laughs> Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Frey's groom to be here in Hammerhead. <laughs> 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 he looks so swish. You save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Sandy. Sid's grease monkey. Grandma. I remember when uh, 15 was coming out, and obviously is a, a big fan. I was very excited when I got to talk to Debata San. And like She's just learning who classic. Cindy was, and he was like, Yeah, you've got it, you've got it. Like she is related to Sid and as a Final Fantasy fan, it was a really weird moment. I mean, Sid, if anything, looks even cooler in this game than he does. Sid's a really, really cool in the original game. Brilliant. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. I mean, I like Sid's story in the main game, how it doesn't really explain it, but it gives little hints about he had this similar kind of experience with Noctis' yeah. dad, and they went on their adventure together many years ago. Uh, so you can skip the cutscene if you want to just get into the game. We don't want to spoil too much for people. So, again, it's very, very easy if you just want to get into the action. Never liked that game. Never any good at it either. Look at Mini Hammerhead. make good use of the extra time. So it's the fixed camera angles, so it's not that full, like, moving around as you did, played in the original. Uh, chat to Prompto. Whoa, and they got Ebony out here. Oh, Ignis is gonna flip. Wait, oh, uh, what's a kill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. And it, like, it's that just like when the quest noise and it all pops up. So press the options button. So you've still got like the full experience in that sense. And it's still got the same music that you had in the main menu. Yoko did an incredible job on this soundtrack. The like, soundtrack is amazing. So you've got a helpful little waypoint to tell you where your next uh, story marker is. Enough for room and board. Does Ignis still do lots of cooking? Well, find out. Let's see if we can get a recipe, Something Rob. The matter? Got any change on you? The local kind. Funny you should ask. I just paid Sid for the repairs. So change is about all. They'd be nowhere without Ignis, this group. No, I mean right. they would they would have Gladiator's they'd be dead by now. Event. They'd be starving, they'd have no money. <laughs> well it I'm is, sure I mean there is nicely. you know, if you don't have any food at one point in the game, it's like Do you want beans? You can have <laughs> beans. Flat broke. Adding I do like the little injury. quest marker. So this is timed in the original game, isn't it? Like, if you don't pick one in time. Uh, a bit steep for a simple tune. Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was going to teach them both. Going to teach you a lesson, Rob. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus round. I'd be happy to. Let's go and fight services. something. Yes. That's what I want to do. If you're up to the challenge. All according to Sid's I mean, I'm really intrigued to see how this game handles what was like a very open-ended and, and liberating combat experience. Final Fantasy XV was so huge and open in terms of its uh, I was, I mean, combat. This icon appears and the game is saving. I'd like to think that I'd carry on playing it when we're not on stage, but we're not. We're just we're behind there trying to practice.
Oh, that's just us collecting stuff. Here we go. Combat tutorial. Love a combat tutorial. Come on, Rob. Don't embarrass us now, Rob. Press the square button to attack. Seems simple enough. Yeah, well done. This is really cute. The audio makes a big difference, doesn't it? Like having all the same audio sounds yeah. and everything. Can you do a warp strike, I wonder? Can you warp strike? Got to find the others, Rob. Sick of walking around. Then try running. Ah. <laughs> oh, what was that? Cute, like, button from. Is it Kiki? It was for a dodge. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. With it's obviously giving you a timer. There's nothing more satisfying than pulling off a perfect dodge and parry in the original 15. Especially when you get the little uh, actions of them all fighting together as well. Yeah. Or when they like pulling you, like pulling creatures off you and stuff. It's just so, those little touches are what made for me 15 really great. A live hurricane. That thing's like. It's just like. I don't think I'm ready to fight this yet. You realize that's no, remember when you have oh, no, to go and collect. Yeah, you have yeah. to go and collect the egg from it. I remember later eventually quest. later on in the game actually fighting that thing though. And it pushed me. It pushed right, you. it pushed me right. So not many fights had me thinking I might actually die here, but that one was just close. Where'd you fight that one? Is that in the bottom of the, like you come up the mountain and it's in the... I can't remember now. I can't remember exactly where it is. Someone uh, on the live stream will tell me. I can see. Oh, you can break that. Oh, cool. Potions. Good. Prompto can use all of those. He's the he's the Donald Duck of Final Fantasy 15 for me. He's the, <laughs> the spamming he's, he, yeah. He's the spamming of the potions. We've got no potions left. No prompts used them all. Cool. Cheers, mate. Just like Donald Duck. Yeah, I I take all the potions away from Donald and Goofy and Kingdom. Donald's not allowed. Potions. Can't be trusted. He's not allowed to have them. In fact, we're playing Kingdom Hearts on Saturday. Me and you on here. Woo. Kingdom Hearts three. Kingdom Hearts three. I should clarify. We're not just playing Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Tilt the left stick in its direction, then press the square button. Oh, Four you can walk right. Yeah. Oh, the stage rumbles because of the bass on the speakers. Is there a cooler combat move in any Final Fantasy? I do like the wall strikes. Right. Oh, mind you, there's nothing more frustrating than warping and then being like stasis. stasis. Yeah. Great. Cheers. We're gonna stand over here so for a minute and hope for the best. My eyes. Thanks. Oh. The pauper prince. That's you, Rob. Nice mission complete. Did it. Ah, so it looks like you don't have to sleep to level up. Level up, which is. I remember like saving my XP and saving my XP, and like and you, to the point and where you're like, the boys haven't been to bed in about then ten you days. Sleep in a really expensive, expensive hotel place, and, and you get like, get, the, like the bonus. yeah, very satisfying. I think I went about ten to fifteen levels in one go. Or yeah, uh, uh, Guild and Key. If you go there and sleep, you spend a fortune. Was it like was it ten thousand gil or five thousand gil? There's a really really expensive hotel in Altissia. Yeah, there is. You can rest there as well. I think that might actually give you more of a bonus yeah. than Guillian Key. Dark out here. Uh oh, Isby. Nighttime oh. is bad in Final Thanks. Fantasy 15, if oh. I remember rightly. Actually, we just finished. That's great, cause I got one more hunt for y'all. Oh, it's Dave. But this time, it's for a person. Dave, mate. Dave went off. We ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Come on, Dave. Oh, got it. We'll take a look. 
So it's really nice. There's like the subtle differences because that one you would have gone back to Cindy, you could have run off exploring, yeah. uh, and then you go find Dave. And in fact, in the main game, it's like go get Dave before it's dark. It makes a real point of doing it. Should you have a look at the ascension, the ascension board. Oh. So what did Cindy say? I don't like being out in the dark. It's making me nervous. Went missing. Just an iron giant is gonna erupt. The iron giant, the like the n- anyway. night time in 15, was awful. It was terrifying. And as soon as like Ignis is like, gonna pull over now, not like, no, 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 please, please keep going. What's this? Bloodhorn. Extremely violent. Great, that's my favourite kind. Hey, how's it look over there? Uh oh. Oh, love these guys. They even got the same sound effects. It makes, it, honestly, it makes such a difference having those Using same sound effects. Battle. Press the options button. Set that character and press X. Yeah, go on, prompto, you potion sponge. the actual game this is quite tricky because you were in that little hut so then the dodging yeah, had to be really that. precise with your dodging I love that you didn't know this had come out. <laughs> yeah. I love that you didn't know. Make sure look at them, them Holly. I think we can handle this. We can turn well, the tide yet. That takes care of them. Uh, you don't think they took care of Dave? Do That's you? it. What's up, yeah. Peggy? I've come up with a new. Yes, the best line in the game. Nicholas is still currently my mobile phone yeah. wallpaper. Ignis will come up with new recipes. Damn right he will. Come on then, let's, let's go get Dave. Oh, I see. So if you get that QTE before it does more than half, it's like a better result. Otherwise you just dodge it. Otherwise I think you're countering. Yeah. You've got to be quick on the draw with that. Yeah, if you're quick, you'll get a dodge and counter. Otherwise, you just get a dodge. That'll do. Well done, Rob. Always got each other's backs, right? You know it. Well, Dave, mate, here. what the have you been doing? <laughs> I remember Dave. Dave, the giver of endless side quests. Yeah, he really was in the end. It's like, maybe I should have just left him there. Ah. Uh, pay me to do it, Dave. I don't do anything for free. I think I do. You play The Witcher 3, you never do anything for free again. <laughs> like that. That's not how I played The Witcher 3. I did things. I did it for cheap, I think. I went full girl, you know? Just like, pay. pay you Don't pay for care the dog. how bad your situation is. Otherwise, I'm I've taking make everything. A living here. Yeah, I'm taking everything you own. Take down the blood horn. The mutant marauder. I will try. Well, let's have a go for that. And then I think. We've got to get ready for the next What's the this? next stream. And then you're playing Spyro next, right? I believe that is true, yes. Yes. Yeah, so we've got... Uh, Rob will be playing uh, the Spyro Remastered uh, trilogy, but it's one level from Re-ignited each of the three trilogy. games. Reignited trilogy. trilogy. And it's one, one level from each of the three games you'll be playing. Yeah. Oh, look, it's one of the... Yeah. 
Oh, it's one of the camp things. Oh, look. Oh, here's the slope. I wanted to fight the blood horn. Take a break. Shall we take a break? Yeah, go on. Well, because there's, there's, there's no jump button, right? Do they do the little camping scene? Oh, I All hope them so. chatting around Yay! the fire. Yes, they do. Oh, look, there's Prompto taking his photos. Aww. What does he even do with all those photos? The only thing we know how to make. The food still looks good. Prairie style skewers. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking Mind about. you, it is three o'clock and I haven't eaten yet today, so <laughs> that looks great. Aw, oh, the campfire scenes were so cute. Especially one where there's... I think it's Noct has got the camera and Prompto is like posing with his gun and like he slips over and... I actually, okay. I loved that feature. Like at the end of the game, going through your album of photos. Was but so many thing. ridiculous photos. They're all of Ignis. Like, like all of them. <laughs> Alright, Rob. Over there. That's it, right? It's big, isn't it? Yeah. That's why they call him Big Horn. Blood, blood horn. horn. Blood horn. But a big blood horn. Yeah. Oh, we're going to oh, do yeah, some yeah, link yeah, yeah. strikes. Every ally provides different support capabilities. Yes. Oh, it's the dawn hammer. I love the dawn hammer. Performing certain attacks with the right timing puts enemy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you choose to skip. So I didn't play 14 with you. Well, look at his health bar. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of health. Oh. Okay. So do they come up randomly, Rob? Or are you controlling them? No, they sort of do it themselves, but you have to do the timing on it. Because Ignis' regroup was by far the most life-saving technique in yes. 15. Oh, look, Prompto's almost dead again. Regroup. Prompto spends lots of his time almost dead. Yeah, there's a lot of my time. Just leave him where he is. I mean, this kind of dodging round behind him and just hitting his you've backside. Got like a, you've got a technique here. Like, you're making him spin. I like no it. He's got no answer for it. He's got nothing, yeah. he's got nothing on me. Right, let's mix it up a bit. Cause like, no, because like you've got Ignis and Gladio, like, we've got this. Oh, no. Good dodge. Any of you guys want to do one of your special moves, feel free. No, Ignis just got impaled instead. He's getting a bit Come on, desperate Ignis. now. So we get phase change. And it just ends up being some horrific battle. Is one of my guys dead? No, no. You're in stasis. Come on, Rob. I mean, he's dead, right? Why isn't he dead? There he is now. Yay! Well done, Rob. You didn't embarrass yourself. No one's clapping. It wasn't that impressive. <laughs> Wanna team up? Stay well, there you go. There we go. End it there. Should we end it there? Yeah. That was a little look at Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition HD, which is very important. Yep. Uh, it's out now on PlayStation 4. It's another Final Fantasy game for you to get a platinum for, Rob. But I guess you've got to finish Dragon Quest first. Uh, yeah, Dragon. I've got to finish Spider-Man first, Spider -Man, and then I'm going to go back to Dragon, Dragon Quest. Quest. Yeah. And then all the other games that are coming out that exactly. you haven't, haven't exactly. finished yeah. or started. Yes. The backlog of shame, I call it. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel. I want to be notified every time I post a video.